Firebase is a platform created by Google to simplify the development of mobile and web applications and provide essential services that improve our daily lives. In today's section, we will explore Firebase hosting and I will show you the process of hosting Next.js application. So without further ado, let's get started. Now the question is, what is Firebase hosting? Firebase hosting is a comprehensive hosting solution that handles both static and dynamic content along with microservices. Firebase hosting also includes built-in zero configuration XSL, ensuring secure content delivery at all times. Firebase hosting offers high quality web content hosting tailored for developers. With just one command, you can swiftly deploy web applications and distribute both static and dynamic content. Now that we are familiar with Firebase hosting, Let's proceed to host a web app using Firebase. We are going to host Next.js application. To begin hosting a web app on Firebase, the first step is to create a Firebase account if you haven't already done so. For the sake of those who do not yet have an account, I will now demonstrate how to create a Firebase account. To create a Firebase account, search for firebase.google.com. Now when it opens up, go to the right top side and click on sign in. Here select the account you want to sign in with. Enter your password. The next step following the creation of your Firebase account is to create a new Firebase project. So to create a project. I need to click on go to console. So right here, I can create a new project by clicking on create project. Let's create a project. Here, I need to enter the name of my project. So the project I wanna launch has to deal with image. So I can just say image slider. All right, so this is a name, uh, a unique identifier for my project. Uh, I can, you know, tweak it, can change it to any other thing I wish. But if the name I write here, the ID I write here has been taken by another person, uh, I can't use it. So I need to tweak it until I get the available uh, name that is right for me. So. All right, so image slider next is available. So click on save and click on continue. All right, so enable Google Analytics. Yeah, so just click on continue and just leave it as it is. So create a project. your new project is ready. So click on continue to view the project. The next step, we are going to install Firebase tools. Firebase tools will help us to communicate with Firebase using our command prompt or terminal. Now, let's go to our terminal and if you are using a Windows operating system, then open your command prompt. So, because I'm using Mac, I am opening my terminal. Right. So, to install Firebase tools, I need to type npm install Firebase tools. But before I would type npm install, I will proceed with uh, sudo. The reason why I'm writing sudo is because I'm using Mac operating system. And for it to get, for Firebase tools to get installed, I need to give uh, permissions. So if you are using Windows operating system, just 
go straight and type npm install dash g because we want to install it globally that's why we're using dash g firebase tools and click enter so it asked me for my password and i'll enter my password and click enter so this we install firebase tools to this computer all right the installation is done now next step is to log in to our firebase using the following command firebase login i decide to say no and click enter so this will prompt in the browser so make sure you select the account you use for registering your firebase select the email you use for registering your firebase account so i use this particular one so i will select it and i will click on allow and when i go back to my terminal you see uh, i've successfully logged in as can you see this so right now i am logged in into firebase on my terminal so i can perform operations such as deploying an application to firebase using my terminal next we need to open the project we want to deploy to firebase on our favorite code editor this is just an image slider built with Next.js. So let's open uh, a terminal here in VS Code and make use of it. So here on the terminal, we are going to initialize Firebase by using Firebase init. So this command will initialize Firebase on this project. So here we have some list of options to choose from. So the one we're going to choose is uh, hosting. This one, particular one here. So click on space. First of all, use our uh, arrow button to locate this and then click on space bar to select it. Then next click on enter. Now uh, it's asking us whether we, we, we want to use an existing project or create a new project well we have created uh, a project previously on firebase so let's select use an existing project so look at the project we created on firebase before now so let's select it and uh, here we are going to change this we're going to change it to we're not going to be going to be using public folder we're going to be using out all right uh, configure a single page app right, direct okay this you can see yes set up automatic build and deploy with github no all right so we have successfully initialized firebase on this project so the next thing we need to do right now is to open our package.json file and where we have build let's add this to the uh to the existing code there so we're going to say and uh next export all right so come back to the terminal and click uh let's go enter npm run build so this is going to generate uh, a deployable uh, files for us. As you can see, it's already pushing it out. So it's going to generate it in the app folder for us. Okay, so when you go through this folder, these are the files that Nexgea has generated for us. So we can deploy this uh, to Firebase uh, by using the following command. To deploy it, we'll finally see Firebase 
deploy. So this is going to deploy this application to Firebase for us. Correct. Our application is now successfully deployed to Firebase. And Firebase is giving us a URL that we can use to access our application online. We can now share this URL even with our friends and family to see what we have built. All right. So I'm going to click on this link to see how our application looks like online. Or oh, let me just copy it. I'll open a browser. I'll paste the link here and click on enter to see my application. Wow, this is the Next.js application that we just launched online using Firebase. You can also apply the same procedure we use here to any Next.js application you want to launch online and share with potential employers or friends and, and family. Well, don't forget to subscribe. And if you do have any question, drop your question on the comment section. I will be there waiting for you. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe for more videos.